welcome to Breezeway Production Sit Downs uh, here with the great director, Ron <laughs> Vignone, with Two Ways Home, uh, the film. What's that? It's very kind. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so let's talk about the film, man. I'm okay. so excited to talk to you about the film. Great. So uh, let's let's just start with this. Uh, when you read the script, did you instantly know you just had to make this film? Was it just... That's a great question. Um, uh, I knew that it, it came alive off the page for me, that's for sure. All right. And originally, Richard Shino, who wrote the script, had written a, about one of the, the, the key components of it, which is about three sisters who were trying to commit their father to a nursing home in order to take the land, to take his farm. And um, that was fascinating to me. I grew up with older parents. My dad was born in 1918, and my mom 21. So I had grown up around older people my whole life, and I I'd seen this. I'd seen this before. So that was exciting, and it came off the page. And uh, Tana asked me to direct this because it was near and dear to her heart, and an Iowa story. And so when we started talking and collaborating about it, she was very interested in developing the character, which is Kathy and is really what's going on under the surface for this family. So we, we, we broadened it out to be a person who is dealing with an issue that no one else was dealing with, that didn't, that didn't exist. And that's how the trajectory of that story. Once that happened, I was like, yeah, this is great. I'm all about this and let's, let's go for it. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, as far as a few of the themes in the film, right? Uh, family, a few other things, uh, as well as like mental illness. So how hard was it to truly have that like tell that story have that vision yeah. without making it look like a negative connotation oh, or something that, uh, because for me the film isn't about mental illness it's about the rediscovery and reinvention of love and this is about a woman who is struggling to reconcile reconnect with her daughter that she had been away from and the thing that was really keeping her back well, I should say two parts um, she was struggling with this condition. She was living with right. a, a, a form of bipolar disorder. And it was about the shame that she had in Because of being that. hurt. Exactly. Just being hurt. Exactly. Yeah. So in that way, it became a story about a woman who needed to accept who she was and, um, and, and get rid of that, that shame that she carried along with her. And so when she was actually able to do that in the film, she's then able to connect for real with her daughter. She, she drops the whole idea that she's not good enough, that this is who she is, right. and she will be present and focused and, and, and loving for her daughter. And I think in the scene where she's on the road yeah. by the cornfields, and she's <laughs> that's that moment of triumph yeah. for yeah. her, I think that's when she realizes, right, that she's she's broke through and she's realized it's okay to be me. Yeah, and, in a way. and, and I, to that point, I think that when she is confronted with dealing with the fact that her daughter almost died, um, there's nothing left except to try to connect in the most raw human level with her. And that's when that and, happens. Yeah, and she did that. Yeah. And that, was, that was great. So uh, what was your biggest challenge filming this? Uh, you know, was it, was it some, one of your locations? Was it... Yeah, you know, you I, had know? Read, I had read in DGA magazine in, a, in an interview with... Um, he was a great director who directed the Bond films, the um, okay. Casino Royale. All right. Who is that? Uh, Martin. Ah, God. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. And I, I love action films, and, and I was surprised to find that he said the same question. And he said the hardest thing in shooting that whole film was shooting eight people around a table in a back rat scene. Right? And I thought, that's bizarre. So I found out that that's absolutely true. Even we have no stunts, no action adventure. The hardest scene to film was a scene where they're sitting at the table for lunch at the farm. Eight people around them. <laughs> it's very complicated. It's very It's a dance. It's choreography, yeah, well, right? But the, it's a dance and it's choreography, but you have static characters. And I wanted to capture the... Um, you know the the, the the anger and the repression, the the, the quiet desperation and the in, and the intensity of when Kathy says, "I've decided to um, take care of my grandfather," and everybody's against her yep. except her beau. And to do that around a table was exceedingly difficult. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That's part yeah, of filmmaking. Yeah, it's absolutely. Like, you know, yeah, you know, and that's that's why you know it's such a sometimes it's actually a difficult question to answer, but. Yeah. Uh, I think you did damn that well. That was the hardest. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, 
what what in this film uh, was at, at when you were finished making this film? Yeah. What was the thing that really stood out to you? What was the message that? Because your vision made this film come to life. Mm. What did you accomplish at the end of the day? What was the, your I'm going to go vision? back to your previous question and say the one thing I carried myself carried with me through the whole thing was when we are able to take the shame out of our condition, whatever that condition may be, right. and we all have them, right? Yeah. Um, then anything is possible, and you can reconnect and rediscover and refine, reinvent love, and um, you know, evolve as a human being. And that was what I tried to do in the film, and I feel like in the end that's what really comes through. And that's why you know it might revolve around mental health and mental illness, but in fact it's a story about a, a woman trying to you know reconnect with her daughter. Yeah, and some of her family. You know, and her that, family. That's yeah, right. Her mother doesn't believe her. Yeah, her exactly. Father doesn't, you know, none, right. of, none of them are on exactly. her side. Exactly. That's right. And you know, it's kind of like the broken woman goes back to the broken family, and when she is able to put back the pieces in her life or, or reassemble them, then somehow that has a net effect on everybody else around them, and a, a new equation is formed. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so one last question for yeah. you. Um, for you as a filmmaker, yeah. um, some filmmakers believe that finding an audience and demographic for their film <laughs> is important, right? right? Yeah. So. Do you think that's something that you're trying to do here? Or did you try to reach everyone? Did you actually really try did. to make this film? I, that, I did. I, I honestly try yeah. to make this film for everyone. I, you know, um, I, and I think it's just by coincidence, because we did take a long time making the film and, and finishing the film. By coincidence, it's part of the, cult, uh, the cultural conversation now. Um, mental health is, is way bigger in terms of everybody being um, forthright about it and um, you know accepting the fact that uh, you know we live in such an accelerated world and the stress is just getting so intense and it, and it wears on us and I think that that has with how fast the world has become people are dealing with real stress issues real mental health issues and it's compounded by the acceleration of culture and I think it just combines with um, when we were able to finish it it's it's a it's a blessing that people are, are talking more about mental health yeah and you know I think it creates a lot of awareness if anything Great. as well and I mean Thank you, you know yeah and even if that's not the direct message that's one of them that really stands out and it's really that's that's what I found really beautiful Great. from it because I have personal experience with it so right. You know, it's fantastic to see it. And uh, I think anyone that sees the film will be touched by it. Thank uh, you, Nate. So thanks, Ron. Thank you. Uh, great interview, and congratulations on being in the fest. All right. And let's go see the film. All right.